Ladies and gentlemen, you're tuned to another production of Revelation in Focus. Uh, last discussion, we would have uh, highlighted that stated in the apocalypse is the three unclean spirits like frogs. We began that discourse on spirituality, spiritualism as one of the entities. We would have said too that each of these entities there's an inter and intra relationship. They don't operate in a vacuum. Therefore you will find uh, bits of overlapping and intermingling because these are entities of spiritual Babylon. And so spiritualism um, also known as paganism is expressly prohibited in scripture in fact and and and, and let, let me begin with this uh, right there at the beginning of the ten commandments god says thou shall have no other gods before me he goes on to say in detail you shall not make any graven image of any likeness of anything in the heavens or the earth you will not bow down to it or serve it God is very, very meticulous with this. Mm -hmm. And coming out now in, in, our, in our time, in our history, various forms of spiritism is, is evolving and, and, and manifesting itself. And we are going to have that discussion as much as we can tonight. Uh, today, sorry. <laughs> uh, with, in studio today, I'm yours truly, Cleveland Hudson. Elder Mentor is with us. And the pastor Franklin Rogers is also with us. Let's approach the throne in grace. Pastor Rogers. Thank you, O gracious Heavenly Father, for the opportunity to break your truth with the people. We pray for receptive hearts. Yes. And we pray that the message would be clear so that men, there would be no contradiction. And men and women would accept Jesus and his truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Now here's what we will do. S uh, spiritualism, we are going to look at it as in what the word says, in its definition of it. And we are also going to look at it in context of today's society. Uh, what research we've been able to come up with on the various forms of, of this entity. And so, Pastor Rogers, I'm going to start straight with you mm -hmm. as you go straight to the scripture and uh, have our, our viewers know from scripture what this thing really is. What is it? What is this entity all about? This entity called spiritualism, uh, paganism. Okay, well, in our last presentation, we, we examined Revelation chapter 16 and verse 13 where we saw the three unclean spirits. Clearly there we see there is a counterfeit. There is a counterfeit of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so we need to bear that first in mind. Now, spiritualism, another term that is used in scripture is necromancy. And it has to do with communicating with the dead. Right? Hence we have the popular misunderstanding of the scripture that you know absent from the body present with the lord which is alluding to um that when a person died the person isn't really dead and the bible doesn't teach that where this this lie originated from well in the book of genesis chapter 3 and verse 3 satan the father of all lies according to jesus he is the one who is responsible for the doctrine of man's, the immortality of the soul. We touched on it on, in our last presentation, which is man's consciousness in death. It was Satan who said to the woman in Genesis 3, 3, He shall not surely die. When God said, if you eat of the fruit, you shall die. Satan said, he shall not surely die. But he shall be like God, like God's knowing good and evil. So Satan is the originator of this spiritualistic 
teaching. Good. Uh, I know in addition to that, you have some more information, uh, more research uh, on, on the Greek mm -hmm. and um, in, in the definition from scripture, what, what this entity really is about. Uh, just to have our viewers know, folk communicating with the dead, communicating with the devil, any such communication is prohibited by scripture. Okay? God allows for communication with him. Period. Anything outside of that is viewed here, uh, is outlawed by scripture. All right? So, uh, Pastor Rogers, you can go right ahead. Now, interesting, there is another word that is also used mm -hmm. to define spiritualism. Mm -hmm. The scripture refers to it as sorcery. Yes. And in the judgment that God will bring upon end time, spiritual Babylon, we read in Revelation chapter 18 and verse 23, um, this is what the word of God has to say concerning the judgment of this spiritual, political, and time entity that will seek to oppose the truth and to persecute God's people. Revelation 18, 23 says, And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee, for thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. So, the revelator John here um, depicts spiritual Babylon as involved in sorcery. Mm -hmm. Now, when you do your word study of that Greek word, um, it's a noun, right? And the noun sorcery in the Greek is pharmakia. Pharmakia, from which we get our modern English word pharmacy, <laughs> which has to do with medicine. Now, it simply means anything that medicates the mind and causes a person to react in a certain way is sorcery. Now, sorcery also has to do with the mixing of potions. Mm -hmm. It has to do also with poison, mm -hmm. and it has to do with herbs. In other words, those who are practicing sorcery also, and spiritualism, what you would find that is truth is being mingled with error. So, okay, we have some herbal medicine, and that is the, the foot in the door technique. The devil never deceives you unless he put in some truth to make it look real. Yeah. And then when he gets you there, you know, drink some conga pump, drink some tulsi bush, buy some cure for all. But then listen, you got to try some of this and you got to do this fancy gymnastic thing, whatever, that God's word, or you got to go to the burial ground. Mm -hmm. Or you got to go to the river and, you know, do an offering and feed the spirits, mm -hmm. right? So, pharmacy, right? Sorcery, pharmacy or pharmacia of the Greek, anything that medicates the mind in a way to influence people to, to think in a particular or to react in a particular way. And that's the aim of the devil, to cause people, you know, to become hypnotized by, by, by these supposedly real things because some of the things that people see, you know, it, 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 it is apparent but not necessarily real. Mysticism. Mysticism. <laughs> right? Magic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, folk, I'm going to go to the scripture here and then I'm going to ask El the mentor to share with you his research. Mm -hmm. uh, what he has been able to unearth. Uh, Isaiah 8, 19. Isaiah 8, 19. And this is what it says. For this is a very crucial scripture. And when they shall say unto you, 
Seek unto them that have familiar spirits. Hello. Mm -hmm. And unto wizards that peep. And that motto should not a people seek unto their God mm -hmm. for the living to the dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it goes on to say in, 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 in um, 20, to the law and the testimonies if they speak not. Now, folk, or beginning, you remember I quoted the commandment, thou shalt have no other gods, thou shalt not make any graven image. If you find the, in the practice where in religious ceremonies you have images and people are bowing to it and worshipping it, folk, God says, he alone must be worshipped, not anything graven in heaven or in earth. He alone, okay? And so when people engage in this sort of thing, it's against scripture. In Leviticus, it says you must not turn to mediums or spiritists. Okay? Do not seek after them. Okay? Regard them not that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled. Notice the, 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 the wording. Now, on this note, I'm going to bring Elder Mentor in here to share with you these different forms that, uh, you know, is manifesting itself even in today. Yeah, um, in the modern realm, um, we, find, um, we have psychics. Psychics in particular are a, they, they are a group of people that catches the world, mm -hmm. you know, and um, because they seem neutral, like as though nothing wrong they're doing. But like you said before, Pastor, the word necromancy, mm -hmm. in which they're trying to communicate with evil spirits in the, in the form of saying that they're communicating with the dead. Mm -hmm. Because nobody can communicate with the dead. They're dead. Mm -hmm. So it's the evil spirit. Mm -hmm. And so they have these things in which they're trying to tell you that they can speak to your dead ancestor and get information from you, uh, for, for you on your future. Mm. More often than not, these things, these psychics deal with future. Mind reading, your future, Palm some people call it that. fortune mm -hmm. telling. Mm -hmm. Horoscope. Horoscope. Crystal balls. Right. right. Mm -hmm. All right? And they would have these incantations and they will hold hands around the table and, and, and say certain things. And like Pastor was mentioning too, they will use certain herbs and they throw a little thing on the fire and make a boof, mm -hmm. a little explosion, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and so they are, they are doing these things. You have those, well, the ones whom they call um, witch and wizards. Those are the ones people were afraid of and they were mostly dominant in the Middle Ages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, they were dominant in the Middle Ages, and they would have done some of the. Um, these people basically deal with evil to deceive you, to make you believe that what they're doing is right, and also to have power over others. Mm -hmm. That is what witch, wizards, sorcerers, and sorceresses does. They deal with evil to have power over others, mm -hmm. to keep others under spells and. And let them do stuff that they want to do. And ultimately, they disobey God. Exactly. That's the, that's the bottom line of the exactly. whole thing. And to invoke worship to the devil rather than the God of, of heaven and earth, the creator of heaven and earth. That's it. So it's a, so mm -hmm. it's a refined way. Yes. Of, 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 we could call it a refined way of getting people to worship the devil. Because in the ages back, mm -hmm. the devil used to have people worshiping him. Mm -hmm. Like, um, like, for example, from Babylon, um, ancient Babylon with, with Nimrod. Mm -hmm. Nimrod's wife, Semiramis, fooled the Babylonians that when Nimrod died, he inhabited the sun. And people start worshipping the sun mm -hmm. as Nimrod. Mm -hmm. All right? And she, they, were, they were also believed that when she died, she inhabited the moon. And so they worshipped the moon. Now hold it right there, Eldo. You are taking us down a road. Sometime at the last production, Pastor Roger spoke about Sunday sacredness. Mm -hmm. Now I want to stitch this in here to our viewers. You hear what is going on here? Each of those days were named after a God. Just understand mm -hmm. that. That is why scripturally, God gave the days numbers, not names. Mm -hmm. Names came from, from Rome. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Rome inherited the culture of the Greeks 
who were polytheistic and monotheistic yeah. in their beliefs. And then you had these other traditions coming down, Egypt and all of that. So folk, the names of the days were given after names of gods. Yeah. The moon god. You don't have to figure out language days that Monday. Mm. <laughs> the sun god. Sun's day. Hello. And so, let me allow my element to Actu continue. Actually, we are saying <laughs> we're saying many things here, and in in <laughs> essence, we're 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 looking at how truth and error mm -hmm. is being blended. Mm -hmm. Now, it is important um, for me to make this point because the the postmodern mind, in in the context of spiritualism and the communication with the, the, the supposed spirit of the dead and the Bible makes it clear in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 5 the living know that they shall die but the dead know nothing when you're yeah. dead you're, you're, you're dead yeah. scripture makes it very clear that breath the ruach it goes back to God the giver mm -hmm. now this this thing is being in, embraced as a culture Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the postmodern mind would say, well, everybody have their religion and um, some worship the devil as a culture. But God is very specific, mm -hmm. right? God is an absolute God. Mm -hmm. God is be, be beyond the, the, the modern kind of um, subjective mm -hmm. thinking that mm -hmm. we have today. God right. is beyond that. Right. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 16.25 makes it very clear there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the ends thereof are the ways of death yeah. added to that god is not a god of the dead period <laughs> he's a period. god of the living yes. so why would one wants to go to inquire um about the future from the dead the when Nebuchadnezzar, uh -huh. case in point, Very wanted point. to know what was the future and he was a hidden king, God answered him through a dream. He didn't fully understand and sent the prophet Daniel to interpret, to give, him, to give the king an understanding of what the future is all about. Only God can reveal the, the future in detail, and notice his, without his, any deception. his wise men couldn't help him. His wise men, Th those were the, the sorcerers that he had. Wise yes. men, wise men, so called. I'm talking about sorcerers. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Pharaoh had some sorcerers, of yes. course. And 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 what they did, they created more problems for Egypt, exactly, because they brought more frogs. Uh -huh. yeah. they, they they brought something looking like snake, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but Pharaoh's real serpent swallowed up the thing. Um, that Moses, 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 Moses so, yeah. serpent, mm -hmm. Moses serpent swallowed yeah. up. So the fact is, folk, when it comes to the future, when it comes to life and more abundant life, mm. it can only be found in one source, mm. the creator of heaven and earth, mm. Yahweh himself, mm. not these entities that people go to. And people go and spend large monies on the bottom houses to people to tell them the future and to fix their problems. Folk, trust in the God of creation, not yeah. in these entities, yeah. okay? And, and, and uh, let's be clear on that. Saul, and Saul too, a king in Israel who's supposed to know better. But he went there after the Spirit of God left him. Went to deal with <laughs> those that deal with Which, familiar spirits. Yeah, exactly. The Lord necromancers, the, the mm. Lord strictly forbids. Forbid right. it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, 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 and what happened to him? The thing pre pretend to be the prophet Samuel, mm -hmm. that the demon, and told him that he's going to die tomorrow. <laughs> because the demon already knew that God has already pulled away from him. And he was under his care. He was under his spell. He, exactly. So the demon knew that tomorrow I can kill you. Now, Elder Mentor, there are some images that are subtly input on certain movies. Even the American dollar. Hello. <laughs> there are some things there mm -hmm. that we should let our viewers know about. Yeah. Um, back in the day certain beasts were worshipped the cow horns hello mm -hmm. when you see movies and they depict the devil or what have you you always see it with the cow horn it's a pagan symbol mm -hmm. it, it, it's it's it, there's a pagan deity that they put that to uh the serpent worshipping of the serpent 
the all-seeing eye, the pyramid. Folk, these are all symbols of spiritualism back in the day. Yeah. And subtly finds itself, even in some of, of Protestantism today. And that is why I, we, we said to you that these entities, there's an inter and interrelationship with these entities. Yeah. In that you will find that one of them will practice spiritualism in some form. If you happen to go into any church today, and, and I'm, I'm very, very, I'm, 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 I have, we have to say the truth. Where you find images and people bowing down to it, for be careful. Yeah. Bible speaks against it. God says no graven image mm -hmm. to any likeness of anything. Okay? Um, worshipping spirits at the sea, at the rivers. Folk, let us safeguard what we do. Yeah. Okay. Now, interesting enough, in the body of Christ, to some extent, among believers, among Christians, they are false apostles, yeah. yes. right? Satan always has a medium that he works through. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 11, mm -hmm. and this is scripture, and verse 13, for such are false apostles, mm -hmm. deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And verse 14 says, And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of, of light. Hmm. The devil is a shape twister. We also see in the book of Acts chapter 13, there was a, a false Jew who, by the name of Elimus, Mm -hmm. And when the Apostle Paul was witnessing to a certain Roman official, mm -hmm. um, um, Sergius, this Elimus withstood, tried to you know, get in the way to, pre to prevent the Roman um, official from receiving the truth. Yeah. And you know, Paul rebuked him in the name of, of, of Jesus and he went blind for for a season. The point is, is that not everybody who claims to be a Christian, a pastor, mm -hmm. is what they may, 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 may turn out to be. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that we must prove all things, right? And hold fast to that which is good. And by their fruit he shall know them. Mm -hmm. And the scripture also tells us in that same Isaiah 8 and verse 20, to the law. God's word to the law and the testimony. If they speak not according to that word, there is no light in them, brothers and sisters. The word of God, Old and New Testament, never contradicts itself. Mm -hmm. It is in harmony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The gospel is in harmony. Yes. God does not blow out and cold water at the set time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so as we wrap up, mm -hmm. folk, this issue of spiritualism, this deception, will come at you in various forms. Many of us through time have practiced some of these things in our traditions. Glass of water over the door, or the man called broom, and all kinds of strange things. And we didn't understand what we were doing. In times of ignorance, God winks. But now, when the light is available, God expects us to repent and mm. to turn to him and to forsake these traditions and spirits and mediums and turn strictly to him. Depend on the Holy Spirit to guide us and not any other spirit. Mm -hmm. And folk, the measuring test is Isaiah 20. To the law and the testimonies, if they speak not according to this word, there's no light in them. We close on this note and we're coming back to discuss the other entity false prophets we're going to talk about that we're going to talk about the beast uh, as one of the three unclean spirits like frogs elder mentor close us in prayer beloved father we say thank you again for the privilege to share your word with the world we pray that your yes, word will go forth with power and with uh, clearness and that hearts will be changed and stuff that people never knew before it will yes. be Lord, so clear to them, and may they receive your word with gladness and singleness of heart and purpose to serve you, the true and living God. 
keep us by your, by your grace, and we say thank you again for the privilege in Yeshua's name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord.